Guys, welcome to a fistful of tangos game one between Sing Sing and S4. Pardon my little mishap there, as uh, apparently I fail completely at using X, but we are here in game number one. S4 playing on the dire side as the Pudge. We've got Sing Sing on the Radiant playing the Shadow Fiend. 1v1, game one. Game two, they switch heroes, switch sides, and if they do draw 1 1, if they decide one hero wins both matchups, as uh, it has happened a couple of times, we've had a few 2 0s, uh, but sometimes we do get those 1 1 draws, especially in matchups that are potentially a bit on a one sided note. Uh, then we do go to that game three, 1v1 SF. We're seeing both heroes go for a big stroll around the enemy side of the map, basically courier hunting. They know. Couriers are going to look to scout runes. Couriers may be looking to block creep waves, which is what both players are actually going to be doing. They've got the couriers in the lane looking to block the creep wave. If Sing Sing actually went around, he could snipe this courier, but we're not going to be seeing that right now. It, uh, it looks like he is just going to be looking to wait. He, he may actually look to snipe it as it comes out on the first creep wave, maybe expecting this courier block. I would be shocked if that's the case, but this could be some next level plays coming out of Sing Sing. He's waiting for it. He's still waiting. I don't know if he saw the last replay, because this is something S4 did in his last matchup. He used the courier to block while his hero actually checked the rune. I think Sing Sing, Sing, Sing is onto this. He's going to see this courier. He's going to get himself some early gold here. Grand courier run. Oh no, terrible disaster. The micro from the courier just pulls it back. And here comes Pudge with the run. Sing Sing is in all kinds of trouble here. This could be the fastest 1v1 game we've ever seen. The rot is going to stay on him. He can't get out of it. He doesn't need to attack. He just needs to chase him with the rot. S4 going to get first blood. 28 seconds in. Sing Sing is absolutely loving it. S4. Oh man, even if he gets that courier, Sing Sing's in trouble. He could snipe the courier, but getting out of there, S4 was in the right place at the right time. Sing Sing, buddy, please. That is not how you want to start your 1v1 matchup here. Game number one, Sing Sing. Well, he's in all sorts of trouble. Stout Shield already out for the pud, so that's going to block a lot of the... Oh, I think he actually started with that. That's his bottle. Okay, he's got his bottle coming out right off the bat. He's also almost hit level three, so this... Basically, Pudge can just go for a hook, maybe level... Th if he hits a hook at level 3, that's a, probably a dead SF. He can dive under the tower, go for those kills here. And Sing Sing is going to have to be playing so carefully. And this is a matchup where I, you give the slightest of edge to the SF. If SF plays it smart, Pudge can't kill him. He shouldn't be able to hook him. So if SF plays it smart, he has the edge. But problem is, Sing Sing's just throwing away the, uh, the advantage that SF has by giving S4 this kill. This game has suddenly become S4's to lose. Unless he can, basically it's going to say hit a hook S4 you win the game You don't have to kill him twice. It's now just once and he's going to kill you twice Something that can be very hard to do and even if you get behind in farm as a pudge as well, I actually do recall to put up the CS charts even if you get behind it in CS Well, you can quickly come back just with one kill hook him under your tower with a dismember and suddenly you've got the kill And S4 is just going to go all in for this. He's rotten and just going right onto Sing Sing not going to get this kill here He does have the sap. Oh! Second long range, that narrowly misses. That could have been S4's death. That could have actually been the turnaround that Sing Sing needed. Problem is for Sing Sing now, he went for the kill, didn't get it, and he's completely out of mana. If S4 goes on him again, he doesn't have those raises to use to scare off S4. And S4, he's going to be feeling pretty comfortable about this position right now. He does, have, does actually have to chew through all of that regen, but, well, he gets a couple more creeps, and now he's going to go looking for rune. He's going to find an illusion rune at bottom, and this for Sing Sing is going to be problematic. He's... I believe got his bottle now. Nope, he's gone for the boots. He's gone straight into the boots knowing he needs the movement speed to help deal with this Pudge hook. Make sure he doesn't get nailed by it. And he knows that Pudge's boots are probably coming up soon as well. 411 gold. That's going to be boots coming right away for Pudge. And with this Illusion Rune bottle, he's got plenty of mana to work with. He can just start throwing hooks and hoping. Not much Sing can do except play as defensive as possible. And the problem is... The one thing that SF normally has over Pudge is his ability to completely outfarm Pudge, but when you can't go near the creep wave really, it makes it so difficult for Sing Sing to actually farm in lane. And he can sort of go maybe on par with the Pudge, but right now he's actually behind by a creep one last hit. He has got the additional deny, but this could go very bad for Sing Sing fast as S4, he's got the dream start. <laughs> he's just hooking creeps. That was not even coming close. I don't even think he was aiming at Sing Sing there. I think he was just happy to get the creep and be on with it. Knowing that he's going to use this illusion rune in a sec. He's going to use, probably use the illusion rune, send one to scout the rune, and keep the other one in lane. Or maybe just send them both off the rune so he knows exactly what rune it is. And Sing Sing, unless he preemptively guesses where the rune is going to spawn, he doesn't stand a chance of getting it. And if he does guess it, maybe he gets hooked on his way going to rune. So it's a very dangerous risk to take. And it's pretty much guaranteed that S4 can get this 4 minute rune. Unless Sing Sing really sort of just backs off early and then goes off to scout the rune. But even then, it's very dangerous. S4, 
He's just fishing. He's just throwing and hoping. He knows he doesn't have to hook this. He's got this mana to spare. He's got already back to full mana, and he's just going to rely on getting that four-minute rune, have the additional mana, and just keep throwing hooks. He's not worried. All he has to do is hit one hook in 20, and he wins this matchup. So Sing Sing, he's just going to be completely flawless with his play from here on out, and that's what we're going to have to try, try and see if he can do. He's ooh, He knows it's top. He's actually going to get it. He, he gets, well, I, I say lucky, but... It was, actually, no, it was a bit lucky, lucky and uh, S4 misses up the deny. He could have actually gone for that deny, doesn't do so. So Sing Sing with a double damage rune, this will help him out a lot. This is something which uh, will get Sing sort of back into this game, making sure S4 doesn't get that 4-minute rune, because S4, you can't bottle crow. There's no bottle crowing allowed in this, and that, make, that means S4 is stuck with this empty bottle until the 6-minute mark, where he has to try and hope and get another rune. So suddenly things not looking as bad for Sing Sing. He does have mana now as well. Three raises up his pocket, which is important. S S4, you can't really go in when he's got those raises. If you're walking in, he hits you with a mid-range, and you get close, he hits you with a melee range. Suddenly, you're basically below half HP, and even with a hook and a rot, you may lose out on that fight. So S4, this is important for Sing Sing. Keep him low. Use the long range as early as possible. Problem is, oh, mid little range, not going to do enough damage. S4 does nail the hook from melee range, and S4 gets a second kill very, very fast, right off the bat, and a... Five minute victory in game one going the way of S4.